and welcome to green light the day today I'm going to share with you an email that I get it's a weekly email that I get from a site called walk the talk and it's all about leadership and and tools that we can use to help build our skills in life and in work and and in ways to manage or lead uh, folks and I just really liked what I read here, so I'm going to read it pretty much verbatim. Um, and it comes from a book that you can buy on their site called The Little Book About 50 Big Ideas on Leadership. But I want to share with you the preamble to this uh, inspirational email. And it starts, this is what they say. When people think of leaders, they often think of their boss or the president. But the truth is, everyone is a leader in some way. Whether you're the leader of a country or the leader of your family, if you are inspiring others, then you're a leader. And trust is one of the most important things in leadership. Without trust, you won't be able to inspire, inspire others to follow you and learn from you. And then they go on to give you an excerpt of the book, Three Ways to Build Trust. And this is a book by Glenn uh, Ferroria. And basically, it's the three riddies. So there are three words that end in the letters R-I-T-Y that form the basis of trust. The first is charity. People will trust you when they feel your selfless giving ways. With charity, they trust your heart. The second ready is clarity. People trust leaders who provide a clear vision, relevant instruction, and good information. With clarity, they trust your head. And the third is integrity. People trust leaders who walk their talk live their beliefs, and keep their promises. With integrity, they trust your character and your word. Which ready do you need to work on? And I just really wanted to share that with you because I, I just it just really sang to me. In my job, I am forever striving to try to be a better manager for my people. And and my goal in doing that is is that if I'm a good manager, they can be a better employee, whatever role they're working. If I fail them at being a good leader, it makes it very difficult for them to do a good job. And so if I'm not succeeding in my abilities as a leader to lead them and guide them, then they can't succeed in shining at being the best that they can be in their job. And we're dependent on each other in, in sort of providing the best service that we can to our end users. And it's really, really important for me to be a good leader for them. But I really liked what they said here about leading not necessarily being your boss or the president, that we can all be leaders in different ways in our personal life as well. And I think the three riddies, charity, clarity, and integrity, hold water in that regard as well, right? So if, if we are practicing the three riddies, then we can be successful leaders not only in our career and in our professional lives, but also in our personal lives. And in regards to the people that I share this vlog with, you know, they are all amazing leaders because they're all inspiring me and many of you out there. And so I just really wanted to share that because I it just it just sang to me. Anyways, I hope that you get a chance to work on the ready you think that you need to work on. And maybe you don't need to work on all of them. Maybe you're just banging out all three of them. Um, but um, I want you to remember that even when you don't realize it, you, you are leading uh, people 
in, in your actions and in your beliefs and the way that you live your life day to day. And I am certainly going to go out this morning focusing on being the best leader that I can, not only professionally, but personally. I hope that you're taking care of yourself and each other. Have a fantastic day. Bye now.